Hi, it's John Cunningham from Cunningham's. And this edition of Market Minutes, I'm talking to Emily Crosweller from our property management department. We're gonna talk about what's happening in the rental market as we move into spring. So Emily, there's been a lot of talk about interest rates in the, in the property market. Do you think that has any impact on rents? Do we see rents increase or is there something different at play there? I think it's a little bit of a different market, John. I feel that interest rates are not really coinciding with our rental market on the Northern Beaches. We're kind of in a little mini market here as opposed to the rest of Sydney. Um, and I do feel that landlords are trying to increase rents to coincide with the increases in interest rates. However, it's just not meeting, unfortunately, um, just in our current market. So there's more a, about a supply and demand issue, isn't it? That there's, there's a lot of supply for tenants to look at. That affects the, the rents more than anything else. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah definitely. Right. No, yeah. that's really interesting because so many people think one has to relate to the other. Yes. Um, but unfortunately, sometimes it works one way. Sometimes it works That's right. the other. So we're really seeing a, a reasonable stabilisation in rents still, aren't we, at the we moment? We are. Yeah, yeah, we definitely are. So when we look at that landlord situation where they're obviously needing the rents to increase to cover the increased mortgage costs, how are tenants responding to that? They're looking for something that's got a lot more quality and what they're paying for. So tenants used to kind of not really care too much about where they lived because they didn't spend so much time at home. But since we've gone through COVID, people are living at home, they're, they're there more, they want to have that whole experience and to make it to feel like a home and not a rental. So therefore it's very much about the quality of the product. Yes. And if you present a quality product, you're more likely to get a higher rent. And a quality tenant as well. Yeah, so yeah. it does hand in hand, doesn't it? Yeah, and people yeah. wanting to invest in their property, one of the really big things that we say to landlords is that once you buy an investment property, you don't stop investing in it. No, you, you don't. Know. It's not a so much set and forget as much as you'd like it to be. It is something that is quite consistent that you need to be um, on top of. That's great, yeah. I think that's a, a big shift that, that's occurred, particularly in the rental space, is that our rental market is so broad now in terms of who's, who's renting. People are renting short term while they build a home. They're renting um, temporarily before they buy another property. It's not just people living in a rental market. Um, it's actually people across a broad spectrum of the property market. That's exactly right, yeah. yeah. Uh, certainly we're talking about landlords and, and, their, and looking after their properties yes. and making sure they present it well. Um, there's a lot of things to go with that, isn't it? Um, vacancy rates is a big one, um, which is the time it takes to, to you know, have a property occupied. Um, so how critical is it that, that landlords listen to the advice of their, uh, of their property managers? It's, it's so important, John. We, we find that we are able to rent properties at a higher rate, quicker, than the rest of the market. Our marketing also comes into play with this, so professional photos, property spick and span, clean, having all the repairs and renovations done prior to advertising and having the first group of people come through. This presentation is key, as you would know. Yeah, you only get one chance you to do. create a good impression, isn't it? Exactly so, right. um, And then each day that a property's empty is one day of less income. That's so we, we just try and minimise that as much as we possibly can. Yes. And that's yeah. so often through presentation and make sure, making sure the pricing's right, isn't it? Absolutely, yes, yeah. definitely. So Emily, to finish up this interview, I'd like to talk about what advice you'd like to give new landlords entering the property investment market. I would like to give them the advice to have the capability and the funds available to maintain your property because it is an ongoing investment. Things will go wrong, repairs are needed. It's just something that a lot of people don't think about. They think it is a set and forget. And as you mentioned before, and I mentioned as well, people wanting to live in a home. It's not just a rental. Yeah. So these things do come into play. Um, what do you think, John? Well, yeah, it's, good. it's, it's an interesting point. Uh, being a landlord myself, it's sort of so important to make sure that you actually are creating a home for someone um, and an understanding that they want to, to feel like it's a home. Um, and then you get a tenant that stays on, pays rent well, uh, looks after the property. Uh, all those things path when you approach it the right way. So if you take the right perspective on, on look, being a landlord and looking after your tenant, they'll look after you in return. That's so it's right. a two-way street. Yeah. Um, so look, it's been great talking to you, Emily. Thanks so much. And hopefully our um, viewers will get some great benefits out of what we've talked about today. Thanks very much.